Happening today, former Vice President Walter Mondale will be honored with a memorial service. Mondale died a year ago at the age of 93. His family postponed memorial services due to the pandemic. Mondale served under President Jimmy Carter and made his own bid for the White House back in 1984, but lost to Ronald Reagan. Today, President Joe Biden will be coming to town to speak at his memorial service. Biden has thought of Mondale as a close friend and mentor. Mondale's sons will also be speaking along with Senators Amy Klobuchar and Tina Smith. And Senator Klobuchar knows Mondale well. She worked as an intern at Mondale's attorney's office. Our Tim Blatt spoke with the senator one on one as Minnesota remembers the towering political figure. Senator, thank you for your time here today to remember Walter Mondale. It's been more than a year now since his passing, and I sense a lot of what this memorial service is all about is making the statement that he's not forgotten. Well, that's for sure. And I think with everything going on in the world and standing up for democracies like Ukraine, I think it's more important than ever. We remember the dignity and decency that Walter Mondale brought to politics, how proud we were of him on the world stage as, you know, Jimmy Carter sent him to negotiate Mideast peace. He had been shown leadership uh, basically all over the world, including Washington, where he was major, major as a senator passing the fair housing bill and civil rights legislation. So, you know, like so many people and families, the Mondale family had to wait uh, because of the pandemic uh, to hold uh, their funeral. And this is a moment where people are starting to gather again. And just because this didn't happen a year ago uh, doesn't mean it's not all the more important. I actually think it's more important than ever. Your career has intersected so many times with Mr. Mondale, and I suspect a lot of people don't know that he actually gave you your start. You were an intern for him back in the summer of 1980. And I want to read for you a passage that you wrote out of your own book, The Senator Next Door. You said, quote, I came away that summer feeling enormous admiration for Vice President Mondale. I looked up to him then. I look up to him ever since. He had a dignity about the way he practiced politics. He treated everyone with respect, including the interns. Perhaps what was one of the chief lessons that you learned from him that has served you well in the year since? I think the first was take your job seriously, no matter what it is, because the, I went there bright eyed thinking I was going to write big policy papers. Mm -hmm. And uh, the first assignment that he and his staff gave me was the furniture inventory. And I was writing serial numbers down under every lamp, chair, table and comparing them to a list. I learned two things, Tim. One, he was scrupulously honest, as we all know, nothing was missing. But second, as I tell high school and college kids, take your first job seriously, because that was my first official job in Washington, and this is my second. Um, and he just grew to be a mentor through the years. When, you know, I still remember um, when uh, later, uh, when he picked Geraldine Ferraro to be vice president, no one had ever done that. And I still remember what she was wearing, the red dress and the pearls. And I thought anything and everything is possible as a young woman interested in politics. The decency he showed when he filled in when Paul Wellstone tragically died. Um, and he didn't have to do that, but he did. Um, when he lost the presidency, came home to Minnesota, he didn't just crawl under his desk and just disengage. He decided he was going to teach the next generation of leaders, and that's how he uh, started his Mondale Fellow Program with the University of Minnesota, uh, where fittingly this memorial service is being held. Senator, could Mr. Mondale still be an effective leader in today's polarized political climate, or was he perhaps just a product of, of the times? Oh, no, I think he still would be very effective. He found a way to adjust. You saw that when he was ambassador to Japan, where, by the way, they called him Elmano, the big cheese, basically. Um, he found a way uh, to adjust, and he would have done the same thing. And I actually think we need more leaders uh, like Walter Mondale, um, because right. he always fought the good fight, but he did it with civility. Senator Amy Klobuchar, thank you for remembering Mr. Mondale, and thank you for your time. Thank you very much. We're looking forward to today. Thanks, Tim. And Professor Larry Jacobs will join us here on the show at 1045 ahead of his comments at the memorial later today. The service will be taking place at the University of Minnesota where Mondale graduated law school. It is closed to the public, but you can watch the entire service here on Fox 9. That will start at 1:30 this afternoon.